Member for Windsor Tecumseh. Thank you. My question is for the Minister of Finance. Good morning, Minister. Speaker, in a good year, we have about 10,000 people working in Ontario's gaming sector. Land based casinos return 55 percent of net gaming profits to the Ontario Treasury. That's more than $2 billion a year. The government has opened its doors to internet gaming. A recent study showed that this would lead to fewer people working and a huge loss to the net revenue from gaming. Speaker, what assurances can the government give the people of Ontario, especially those earning a living in our bricks and mortar casinos, that this won't be the case? Mr. Finance. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, thank you through you to the member opposite and your many years of public service since your by-election win in 2013. Thank you for your service. Uh, he's done a great job representing his constituents, as we all do every day. Mr. Speaker, it's an important question, and I'm going to answer in part for the Attorney General, who's not here today, who's leading the charge who's leading the charge on internet gaming. That is a grey market that exists today in the province of Ontario. It is not regulated. We are the first province in Canada, in Canada to regulate the grey market and the internet gaming market, Mr. Speaker. Extensive consultations occurred for over a couple of years with land-based gaming operators, with foreign operators, with First Nations, a broad consultation including municipalities, including workers, including unions. Mr. Speaker, we're going to do everything to regulate the, this market so that we can create jobs, move our economy Response. forward, and support the hardworking people of Ontario. The supplementary question. Speaker, COVID has left half of the casino workers in Niagara Falls out of work. At Woodbine, there are still 500 casino workers on layoff. We have 1,000 unemployed in Windsor. Big promises were made to students at Humber College that the expansion at Woodbine would bring future employment. Internet gaming threatens those students and all of our unemployed casino workers. Speaker, what is the government thinking? How can we allow internet gaming if it means fewer jobs, less money to the provincial treasury, and no hope for those still on layoff from the COVID cuts. Mr. Knapp. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and again, thank you for the question. You know, Mr. Speaker, this government for the last two years has worked around the clock to make Ontario safe. And in fact, through the leadership of this Premier, the leadership of this Minister of Health, we inherited a health system that was broken, that needed to be fixed, and through their leadership, we're rebuilding Ontario. We're rebuilding the health of this province. And you know, coming out of this pandemic, we're going to be stronger. And let me tell you this, there are going to be jobs created right across this whole province, including the land-based gaming operations, including the internet gaming operations. In fact, when you look around the world where iGaming has been regula regulated, it's created more jobs, it's created more tax revenues, and it's good for the economy so that people can put food on their table. So thank you again for that question, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> 